I got a splinter. All right, I think I got it out. Welcome, I'm Anthony and this is Bad Idea Metals. And on this channel, we do a bunch of different things. So what we're gonna do is we are going to take off the solder mask. So um, I've, got, I've got some of the ones that I was the most curious about. I've got just some, some random telecom communications uh, control boards. They've got gold flashing, some gold pins, and some solder points for where their, their other components can mount. I've got two track pads from, from laptops. Um, not all of them have gold flashing or gold plating, but these two do. One is really thick and has little dots, and the other one's really thin, and there are these, these rectangles of gold flashing, I think. So well, I, I'm just very curious to see how far the gold goes, or is it copper up to the, up to the spots? But to be totally honest, this is the one that I'm the most curious about. This is a Sound Blaster Live card. I've already taken the fingers off, but this is a sound card. Fits in your desktop, and uh, it's still fully populated. So we're gonna cook all these boards, get all these things depopulated. We're gonna be trying to get the, uh, the mask off, and I don't wanna be fighting all the chips and the pins and everything else. Yeah, so there's a variety here. This is definitely by no means an exhaustive um, sampling of all the different boards that I have. I've got laptop and desktop motherboards. I've got other telecom stuff, uh, routers, switches, printers, and the, the like. So, but that's what we're gonna work on. So let's go ahead. We're gonna cook these, get them depopulated, and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay. Here's what we ended up with. We got some just general stuff over here. We got some of the really fine, like our MLCCs are down in here. I isolated some of the pins because those are pretty cool looking pins. Those come from the Sound Blaster Live. And then some of the ICs like this big guy. This guy I believe came off of that Sound Blaster Live. Sound Blaster was created by the company Creative. So hence, there you go. Now, I'm not gonna touch these boards quite yet because their core is metallic and they hold the heat for a long time. So I'm not gonna touch these unless I wanna hurt myself. <laughs> but you can see the, the solder has kind of drifted as I, as I tapped them off. But for the most part, let's get a good cross section here. They're pretty clear. I've got nothing really on any of these boards. A few of the, uh, the surface mount stuff, there are a few um, resistors that I didn't get maybe a few capacitors, whatever. There's a few MLCCs right there. So, well, one MLCC and a bunch of resistors, but um, for the most part, I'm just gonna ignore all those. Those are pretty small. So let's move on to the next step. We're going to be heating up some water with some 100% lye. I found this uh, at a hardware store, or maybe it was Walmart. I can't remember, but it was over in the plumbing section. We're gonna be using about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of this for this amount of water and we're just gonna cook these. We're gonna get it just about to a boil. So let's go ahead and turn on our heat. Oh, let's get it to go pretty fast. But once we see that it's getting close, we need to turn it down and we'll add our, our lye. So although this is not acidic, it is still corrosive. Um, this is really base really it's really alkali i mean it's really far down it's like a one or a two so you want to protect your your skin from this stuff as well just like you were dealing with the acids you're going to want an old toothbrush not one that you plan on using ever again i'm going to estimate here this isn't very precise this looks to be anywhere from two to three uh tablespoons probably closer to the two and so i'm just going to fill the cap and dump it in um i don't have an exact amount of the the lie per water ratio so we're gonna we're gonna try some stuff out um we don't want to add too much otherwise we'll just waste it you know what i got a good feeling about that amount right there so we'll just put that in okay so as this is heating up let's go ahead and get those crystals to dissolve some so 
it's about 60 degrees Celsius. It's not as hot as I'd like it to be, but I'm going to see if it will make a difference if we have to make it much hotter or not. Um, this water is just not heating up as fast as I'd like. Um, the solution to that problem would be to use less water. Um, but I have the heating element on maximum and it's taking a long time. So we're going to start off with maybe some of these tall ones so I can suspend them in and be able to pluck them out pretty easy. So we're just gonna set those in. Kind of like a little hot tub for these guys. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's put the sound blaster card in. Put your arms right over the edge of that hot tub. You can all chill and relax, it'll be great. So I got some pH paper. If this turns red, it's, a, uh, it's acidic. And if it turns dark blue, it's uh, alkali. It should turn a little blue. Yeah, there we go. So we do have that lie in there, and that's good. So I figured I'd show you this part just to prove that <laughs> it's in there. It's just not uh, hot enough yet. So it's been in for about four minutes. We're gonna let it go the remaining six. But uh, yeah, we got we got a blue response. Alkali is there. Well, it's been about uh, 20 minutes now and it still isn't doing much. So either I need to add more lye or I need more heat. It is now at 71, almost 72 degrees Celsius and it's been about 20 minutes. So um, I'm going to let this go for a little while. Who knows, maybe I'll let it go for about 30 to 60 minutes and we'll take a look and see what, uh, what progress we get. It's been 25 minutes, almost 30 minutes. And uh, the temperature is finally just approaching 80. And I can see right here that it's starting to strip the brown. So the Sound Blaster Live card huh, is gold underneath all of that. That's so sweet. Look at all that wonderful gold stuff. It's probably not very thick. It's really thin, I'm sure. But let's see if it's double-sided. Huh. Oh my goodness. It's double-sided gold plating. Ah, it's, what is that called? Uh, fully sublimated? I'll have to check. But uh, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna let these continue. To, to simmer in here. So you can see it coming up right there and I can see that it's copper. Oh look, it's scratching if I use the back of the toothbrush. And that's, that's a copper. You can see the difference between the two metals right there. Oh, maybe not in the video you can't, but let me see if I can fix that. You can see that that's copper versus the flashing of that gold. But yeah, this process is working. We've got it up near 80 degrees and I've got it uh, with a little bit more lye um, than what I started with. And my hands and arms are all over in front of you, so I, I apologize. All right, let's see if that camera angle's any better. All right, so you can still see we're right around 80 degrees. We can, we've got this uh, steam vapor coming off. You can see it from my vantage point using the back of the toothbrush. Doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot there. Let me see if maybe a little bit. No, it doesn't look like, oh, there we go. It's coming up. And it looks like that's gonna be copper, but we'll have to get it all the way to the edge there and see if we can see a difference. Yeah, I can see a difference. So these are copper underneath this flashing and underneath the solder mask. So we'll put it back in, we'll let it keep cooking. Let's see if all of these are created the same. Yep, 
they look like they will be. That's copper. In fact, uh, you can see the gold plating over the top of it. And the other one is right. Oh, totally forgot about the mouse pads. Holy cow. Holy cow. Um, that's, that's incredible. Uh, let's see, what am I gonna do? There's another mouse pad down there I wanna grab. Oh my gosh. So this was that black garbage that was glued to it. And it is, I guess it's not too hot. The only reason why I was using the tweezers is because I was afraid everything was gonna be super hot. But look at that. I don't know how thick that is, but that's gold. That's, that's really sweet. And it looks like more of that adhesive can come off, but it's gold on both sides. That's not, that's not uh, copper. Oh my goodness, that is incredible. So, the mouse track pads on some laptops. I can't promise all. In fact, I happen to know some of them are copper because I've seen the, the copper backplating on some of them. But uh, that's, that's a lot of gold. That is super incredible. Um, I'm gonna have to process a bunch of these to see how much there is here per weight. But I am so excited to get this mask off and, uh, and uh, process these. Oh man, that's the coolest. I, I can't tell you how impressed I am with micronization. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get the light to shine on that in a way that you can see that the gold is on the copper. Let's see if the other side is gonna be helpful. Eh, you can kind of see it right there. It's kind of hard to tell, Oops, especially when it doesn't zoom in, but there you go. That's copper with gold on top. So that tells me that, uh, that, these, that these VGA, oops, that, that tells me that these um, LCD screens, uh, although they have a lot of gold flashing on them, they're not sublimated in a way that uh, they're gonna be very, very rich with gold. However, oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for that Sound Blaster Live, this guy right here, this brown card, because look at all that gold right there. Oh, that's so beautiful. Anyway, all right, well, let that go swimming again. We'll get the rest of the mask off. Okay, I'll let this sit for another about 30 minutes or so. Let's see if our temperature has gone up at all since we've been working on this. Nope, in fact, it's gone down. All of our playing around with the liquids and pulling things in and out. So we have actually dropped our temperature a little bit. We'll let it sit, let it get back up to heat again, and uh, we'll, we'll check things in about 15 minutes. All right, so it's been another, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. This is definitely taking its time with more heat or more lye will definitely be uh, a faster process, but um, it's it's moving. Um, it's pretty cool. So these are our copper. It's only the one side though. There's nothing to there's nothing to eat off of this other side. Um, I really don't want to carry all that stuff around with me. But uh, it's all copper on the on the CD-ROM, DVD-ROM drive uh, circuit boards. That is impressive. And if you didn't believe me that that is uh, gold plating, when we compare it to the copper plating, you can definitely see that there is a difference. Let's see if I can get that difference to show up. Ah, it looks like it's it's there. So yeah, these Sound Blaster Lives are gold. Okay, so let's wrap it up. So that was pretty easy. I'm so excited. Um, I just need to start processing the gold off these boards. Hey Dad, have you seen my toothbrush? Yeah, oops. So I'm pretty excited. 
who knows maybe i'll make some some wall coverings kind of like a wallpapering with the with motherboards that have been stripped of their solder masks anyway if you've got any comments please leave them below um if you're new to the channel uh, consider subscribing i do all sorts of crazy stuff um sometimes i succeed a lot of times i fail i'm glad that this was a success for you to see today um if you've got any requests i'd love to hear about it otherwise i'll see you in the next video have a good night